Why do you like Horizons? I like Horizons because it's an academic summer camp and it helps you keep your keep focused during the summer because most people forget the things they learned over the school year in, in the summertime so this program actually helps. Like it's Horizons a lot of fun as well. You get to go swimming fun. and do a and lot of the fun activities. We, have, we get to do a lot of fun things like after school we get to do weaving and knitting and we have fun. My favorite thing coming to Horizon is the, is, the, is the toys and we get to go swimming every Every uh, every Tuesday and every Thursday, and I and the favorite thing about me is I love all my teachers in Horizons, and I also love my friends, and I also like to play. And I um, I like Horizons because there's active activities, and it's really fun. And it can help you with like your schoolwork, and it helps you get better for the next year and the next grade, and. It's, um, you get to do fun things like swimming. That's I like Horizon because we play sports, we learn about LA and math, we do subjects, we get healthy food, there's no problems, nobody fights, we all get along, and we're just like a family. You just heard from some Horizons at Brooklyn Friends School students and their reflections on the program. Hi, welcome back to the BFS E-News Podcast. I'm Andy Cohen, your host. On today's show, you will be hearing about the Horizons at Brooklyn Friends School Reading Challenge. So let's get started with this public service announcement about the challenge directed by 12th grader Monet Masick. I like to read because it gives me the time to be peaceful and relaxed. It's a fun way to escape into another reality. It gives me an opportunity to not think about other things. I like to read because it helps me explore the world without going anywhere. I do the book challenge so I can raise money for the kids in Horizons so they can get to do some stuff that they normally don't do. I heard about someone going swimming and a lot of different activities like arts and crafts and all that stuff. I support Horizons because it gives kids that don't have the opportunities to try different things. I know it's for a good cause and uh, it's for kids who don't have the same opportunities as I do. And it gives them a chance to have fun and learn at this great friendly place. Support the Horizons Reading Challenge. Six years ago, in an effort to further embrace and support Horizons at Brooklyn Friends School, BFS parents and Horizons at BFS board members Pam Kiernan and Lauren Small launched the Horizons Reading Challenge. After their own individual success, it was decided that this could be a wonderful lower school annual fundraising initiative for Horizons at BFS. This year marks the fourth year that the BFS Lower School has been involved. Last year, participants raised $25,000 collectively. Pam, can you tell us a little bit about how this program started? When I joined the Board of Horizons about seven years ago, uh, Larry Weiss, Rachel Weber, and I were brainstorming what we could do to help raise funds for Horizons but do it in such a way that we could include the student community at Brooklyn Friends. The reading challenge just for us made sense because we viewed it as an activity that would be available to all of the kids. So Lauren, how does this actually all work? Children can choose any sort of a challenge for themselves. Younger students can choose to read a picture book with their family at night. An older student might want to choose just reading one classic. Some children have done 30 books. It can be anything that Hmm. the kids feel comfortable doing. Oh, that's terrific. So this is the seventh year, I think I said sixth year in my introduction, of the challenge. And uh, last year you raised $25,000, which is a considerable amount. Why Horizons? Why is Horizons so important to raise money for? You know, from my perspective, when I joined the Board of Horizons, it was important that this program, which is really part of the BFS community, 
be shared with the BFS community. So when I first was invited to visit the program in the summer, and I remember going to a second grade classroom, and one of the students there was practicing a play that they were writing themselves based on a book that they were reading. And as I was sitting in the back and watching them engage, one of the, the students called me over and said, you know, this is what I'm doing, come in, come into our play, don't stand in the back. You know, let me explain to you who I am. And it was a girl who said, you know, I'm the father, these are my sons. And she was so enthusiastic, she was so engaged. It was so consistent with the spirit of what we do here every day at Brooklyn Friends School. I just felt it was important with, you know, limited amount of extra capacity. How do you want to allocate that capacity and support something that was integrated with the school already? This program, the Reading Challenge, is for the lower schoolers, and when does it start and how long does it last? Initially it was six weeks. We've actually narrowed that down to a, a four-week period. There'll be sign-ups for the Reading Challenge the week of the 24th of January through that whole week. The children will have their own page where friends and family and colleagues of parents who would like to donate can go see what the challenge is for each of those individual students and pledge their money. The children get very excited by it and they, you know, they, they, they play with these kids from um, Horizons After School and they know them, they know of the program now more and more so they get to really feel like they're helping a great cause. And they're invested in it. Yes. That's terrific. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the Horizons program or about the book challenge? Some of the concerns we've heard are, you know, my, my child isn't a confident reader. Is this a competition? In my experience, and especially with my oldest son, Sean, when he started this in kindergarten, he was not a confident reader. But when we explained what we were going to be doing together as a team and why we were doing it, and he happens to be, at that time, maybe not a confident reader, but a highly competitive kid, he was really focused on trying to achieve the goal he had set for himself, and that was for reading, reading with he and I together. Not every child is gonna embrace reading, you know, developmentally at the same time, but really the key is that this is an activity that can be shared. It's about working as a team. It's about setting your own goal. It's not about a competition and it's about supporting a really great program. I just wanted to add as well that, you know, now that our, our children are out of the lower school, uh, Luella and Iden have still chosen to do the reading challenge. We also have an ambassador that's working with us in the lower school, Allison Dunn, who has two children in the lower school, uh, who will also help spread the word amongst the lower school families that I don't know. Um, and the new ones that are coming in. So we actually are starting to gather a team, make sure that it, it stays a part of, you know, fabric of the school. So I like to ask parents that appear on the show, why do you choose to send your children to Brooklyn Friends School? The key for me at Brooklyn Friends School is the values-based approach to education. And I want my children academically, I want them to realize their potential, but I also want them to be really good people. And I want them to understand their place in the world and their responsibility based on that place in the world. And I think Brooklyn Friends School provides a framework at every age to begin to embrace that. My kids have been here since they were two and three years old. So I've seen this evolve with them in a very age appropriate way. That is one of the things that I love the most about Brooklyn Friends School. So just to add that I love the fact that the whole child is nurtured. They're nurtured through the arts. They're nurtured through academics. They have Quaker meeting once a week where they sit in silence for 45 minutes. Huge things. Huge things indeed. Thank you so much, Lauren and Pam, for being on today's show. And let's remember to support the Horizons Reading Challenge. And also, remember to let your life speak. Mm -hmm.